Hello everyone. Namaskar. Rajkrishna this side. So today we are going to uh, solve a problem from numerical integration. Now you must have done uh, a lot of problem from integration by the straightforward methods uh, by using different methods of integration but this time we are going to uh, solve this integration numerically that is without uh, going into uh, the earlier methods we can just use the value of x and corresponding value of the function to find the value of the integration so let's see how we can uh, do that uh, so in this case we are uh, going to use the trapezoidal rule we have a separate formula for trapezoidal rule simpson one third simpson three by eighth rule i will discuss uh, all of them one by one all three methods had something different in terms of formula and also in terms of uh, some differences like in trapezoidal rule you can uh, go for any interval but in case of simpson's one third rule you have to take care that uh, you are taking uh, intervals in multiple of two only and in simpson three by eighth rule you are taking multiple of uh, three only okay so we'll see that uh, but uh, now our focus is on the second thing which is given where the interval of the integration is subdivided into six equal part now six is a good number because six is also an even number and multiple of three also okay so you can use the table which is prepared in this problem to uh, apply the and apply the uh, values uh, in simpson's rule as well okay also they are asking us to find the approximate value of pi from the this process okay so let's see first of all uh, the value of h will be b minus a divided by n now n here is number of interval in which we are dividing which is 6 if they have not given then also 6 is a good number because it shortens the problem for us so h is b minus a by n so h is b is upper limit of the integration which is 1 lower limit is a divided by n which is 6 so interval which you are getting is 1 by 6 okay so we'll start making the table uh, you will have x and you will have fx let me clarify the fx in this case is 1 upon 1 plus x square as you can already see so x and fx so starting with the uh, 0 value of the function at 0 is clearly 1 next value what we have to take 0 plus h so 0 plus 1 by 6 that is 1 by 6 now the value of the integral at 1 by 6 will be uh, I am taking up to 5 decimal places so this will be 1 divided by 1 plus 1 by 36 okay that will be 37 by 36 And this is giving me 0 0.97297. I am taking till 5 decimal places. Now if you add uh, 1 by 6, you will get 2 by 6 now which is nothing but 1 by 3 in simplified format. So 1 by 3 if I put here it will be 1 divided by 1 plus 1 by 9 that is 10 by 9. This is simply 9 by 10. Okay. So, 
and 9 by 10 is nothing but 0.9. Next, this was 2 by 6. Next will come 3 by 6. 3 by 6 is nothing but half. Now, 1 divided by 1 plus 1 by 4. That is 1 divided by 5 by 4. That is 4 by 5. That is, I think, 0 0.8. Simple calculations for some value at least. Next, you will have, you had 3 by 6, you will have 4 by 6 now, which is 2 by 3. So, you will have 1 divided by 1 plus uh, 4 by 9. So, 4 by 9. And this is giving me 0 point, uh, the next value was uh, 4 by 6, which is nothing but 2 by 3, 2 by 3 and the value which we are getting is 0 0.69230 if I am considering 5 decimal places. So next will come 5 by 6 which will give me 1 divided by 1 plus 25 by, I am using in this only. So, 25 by 36. And this is coming out to be 36 by 61, which is nothing but 0 0.59016. Okay. And the last value is 6 by 6, which is nothing but 1. 1 uh, divided by 1 plus 1, which is 1 divided by 2, which is nothing but half and that is 0 0.2. So, this is uh, the value that you can use this value for Simpsons as well as trapezoidal as well. So, that's the beauty of taking 6 interval. We can use it uh, on all the methods. But uh, today our focus will be only on trapezoidal. Okay. What's next? So, up next we are going to have uh, this, how to, uh, what is the formula? So, for trapezoidal rule, for trapezoidal rule, the value of the integral 0 to 1, 1 upon 1 plus x square dx is given by h by 2. Now, uh, some people write h by 2 or uh, some uh, other textbook or some other reference you can see uh, that they have multiplied that uh, by 2 inside. So, that is completely your choice. So, h by 2 will be 1 by 12. And inside, what you take? You take the first value, you take the last value, you add them together. So, not the x value, but the function value. So, that will be 1 plus 0.5. So, that is 1.5 plus 2 times the other values. So, the other values are starting from here and ending till here. So, 0 0.97297 plus 0 0.9 plus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.69230 plus 0 0.59016. Okay, so these are the values and you in the bracket. So let's calculate it. So you are having 1 divided by 12. Inside you are having 1.5 plus 2 times of 0 0.97297. Okay. 
प्लस जीरो पॉइंट नाइन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट एट प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स नाइन टू थ्री जीरो प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव नाइन जीरो वन सिक्स फाइन सो दिस इज गिविंग मी अ वैल्यू विच इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन एट फोर टू थ्री I am writing till five decimal places. So this is the value of the integration, which is zero to one, one upon one plus x squared d. Sometimes they will tell you to find the error. I am not uh, completely focusing on that in this problem, but uh, slightly if I discuss. So for that case, we'll uh, find the exact value. An exact value, you know, what was the integral? The simple integral you have done it in junior classes. One upon one plus x square integration is tan inverse x, and it is going from zero to one. So this will be tan inverse one minus tan inverse zero. Tan inverse zero is zero. Tan inverse one is pi by four. So this is the value you are getting. And if I uh, convert my calculator to radians and then Find uh, this value pi by four. So let's uh, see pi divided by four. Okay. So this is giving me zero point. Seven eight five. Three nine. Okay. So this is the value. Now, if uh, you want to find the value of pi, you can find error from the it. Okay. Now, if you find need to find the value of pi, you can take this as equation number one. And here also zero to one one upon one plus x square dx came out to be this also and this also. Fine. You can take this as equation number two. Now, because in equation number one and two, RHS is the same, RHS is different, so RHS must be equal. So you can say that pi by four is equal to zero point seven eight four two three, zero point seven eight four two three, and you can find the value of pi from here. Which will approximately be four times zero point seven eight four two three, and that is uh, I told you that it will be approximate value three point one three six nine two. Okay, so that's uh, what we saw in this problem. Uh, interesting one. Uh, just the beginning of uh, this, I will take a lot of problem. I will try to take a lot of problem on this. so we will cover simpson's uh, rules as well in the uh, upcoming lectures but uh, the main focus was if uh, nothing is discussed in the problem statement about the number of interval you will take that uh, it to be equal to the magical number as far as numerical integration is concerned is 6 okay and if they are asking to find the approximate value of something then uh, you can uh, compare the exact value as well as the value which you have obtained from numerical integration okay so that's it uh, for today we'll see you with some more problems uh, the the playlist is there which is numerical differentiation and integration you can go and watch that thanks again